Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a journey back in time to the 17th century and meet a talented artist by the name of Anthony van Dyck. Born in 1599 in Antwerp, Belgium, van Dyck showed an affinity for art from a young age. He honed his skills under the guidance of famous painters in his hometown, but it was his experiences abroad that truly shaped his artistic style. At the age of just 19, van Dyck embarked on a trip to Italy, a land known for its rich artistic heritage. During his stay in Italy, he studied the works of influential painters such as Titian and Raphael. These masters greatly influenced Van Dyck's technique, evident in his majestic portraits. Upon his return to Antwerp, Van Dyck's career skyrocketed. He became the leading portrait painter in Flanders, capturing the essence and personality of his subjects with great finesse. His popularity was such that he even received commissions from powerful figures, including kings and nobles. Let's delve into some of his mesmerizing works from this period. We have his 1618 masterpiece, Portrait of a Woman, where Van Dyck's attention to detail is simply breathtaking. The delicate features of the woman are rendered with such precision, reflecting the elegance and fashion of the time. Moving on, we have Crowning with Thorns and the Lamentation, both painted between 1618 and 1620. These religious paintings showcase Van Dyck's ability to convey emotion through his subjects' expressions. The sorrow and agony depicted in these works evoke a sense of empathy and reflection. In his family portraits, such as Family Portrait and Portrait of Engelbert Ty, Baron of Wemmel, Van Dyck captures the dynamics and warmth of family life. These paintings exude a sense of intimacy, depicting not just the physical appearances, but also the relationships among the family members. Additionally, Van Dyck's portraits of children, such as Portrait of a Boy, are notable for their tender portrayal of youth and innocence. He had a unique ability to capture the fleeting moments of childhood, freezing them in time for eternity. As we explore his extensive body of work, we can't ignore the stunning portrait of a lady, created in 1618 to 1621. The lady's regal presence is enhanced by Van Dyck's skillful use of light and shadow, giving the painting a three-dimensional quality. Finally, we have his portrait of a Flemish lady, probably and portrait of an elderly man, both created in 1618. These pieces display Van Dyck's keen eye for capturing the individuality and character of his subjects, regardless of their age or social standing. These works, among many others, demonstrate the incredible talent and versatility of Anthony Van Dyck. His life experiences and travels undoubtedly influenced his art, resulting in masterpieces that still captivate audiences to this day.